On October 1st, Catholics worldwide celebrate the life and legacy of St. Therese of the Child Jesus, affectionately known as St. Therese of Lisieux. Born on January 2, 1873, in Alençon, France, Therese's journey to sainthood began under the nurturing care of her devout parents, who themselves would later be recognized as saints. Her mother's early death when Therese was only four years old marked the first significant cross of her life, one that would shape her deep trust in God's providence. Raised by her father and elder sisters, Therese demonstrated an unusual sensitivity to the divine. On Christmas Day in 1886, at just 13, she experienced a profound moment of spiritual awakening. It was a complete conversion, a life-altering experience where she felt a deep, intimate union with God, igniting a new depth of faith. Less than a year later, she displayed remarkable courage and determination when, at age 15, during a pilgrimage to Rome, she sought and obtained permission from Pope Leo XIII to enter the Carmelite Monastery, a bold request for one so young. In the monastery, Therese embraced the cloistered life of prayer, penance, and sacrifice. However, the road was not easy. She faced many internal and external challenges, including the struggles of convent life and learning to deal charitably with difficult people. Yet, in her trials, she found profound lessons. Therese dedicated herself to performing little acts of charity, seemingly small deeds done with great love, which became the essence of her spiritual journey. These acts shaped her spirituality, which she called the little way, a path of simplicity, humility, and childlike trust in God. Her desires to be a missionary, apostle, and martyr remained unfulfilled in the traditional sense. But in a moment of divine revelation, Therese realized that her ultimate vocation transcended these roles, as she wrote, Greater than, Charity gave me the key to my vocation. I understood that the church had a heart, and that this heart was burning with love. I understood that love comprised all vocations, that love was everything. Therese found her true calling in love, a love that encompassed all times and places, that fueled the church's mission, and that united all vocations. This profound realization became the driving force of her life. In 1895, at the tender age of 22, she offered herself as a sacrificial victim to God's merciful love, an offering that would be tested when she contracted tuberculosis. Rather than resist the suffering, Therese embraced it as part of her union with Christ. She viewed her illness as an answer to her offering, a way to deepen her love for God. Despite a dark period of spiritual dryness and doubt that lasted until her death, Therese remained unwavering in her trust in God's love. Her final words, My God, I love you, encapsulate the essence of her life, a life lived for love. Though she passed away at only 24, her little way continues to inspire millions today. Her simple yet profound message is clear. It's not the magnitude of our actions, but the love with which we do them that counts. In 1997, 100 years after her death, Therese was proclaimed a doctor of the church, an honor given to only a few saints. Her life is a testament that holiness is not reserved for the extraordinary, but is found in everyday acts of love and sacrifice. Has how can we benefit from St. Teresa's example today? 1. Embrace simplicity. Therese teaches us that we don't need grand gestures to make a difference. Every small act of kindness done with love has eternal value. 2. Live with childlike trust. In a world filled with anxiety and uncertainty, Teresa's faith reminds us to trust God completely, like a child trusting their parent. 3. Persevere in love, even in suffering. Her embrace of suffering as part of her offering to God inspires us to view our own challenges as opportunities for spiritual growth. 
4. Focus on love. St. Teresa's life calls us to make love the center of everything we do. Whether in relationships, work, or everyday encounters, acting out of love transforms ordinary moments into profound encounters with God. As St. Therese once said, Greater than, you know well enough that our Lord does not look so much at the greatness of our actions, nor even at their difficulty, but at the love with which we do them. Her, little way, teaches us that anyone, regardless of their status or situation, can achieve holiness through love, an invitation to all to live a life of purpose, simplicity, and divine intimacy. Some quotes from St. Therese of Lisieux. Love can supply for length of years. Jesus, because he is eternal, regards not the time but only love. Prayer is an aspiration of the heart. It is a simple glance directed to heaven. It is a cry of gratitude and love in the midst of trial as well as joy. True charity consists in bearing all our neighbors' defects, not being surprised at their weakness, but edified at their smallest virtues. We can never have too much confidence in the good God. As we hope in Him, so shall we receive. Sacrifice Love proves itself by deeds, so how am I to show my love? Great deeds are forbidden me. The only way I can prove my love is by scattering flowers, and these flowers are every little sacrifice, every glance and word, and the doing of the least actions for love. Do you realize that Jesus is there in the tabernacle expressly for you, for you alone? He burns with the desire to come into your heart. If every flower wanted to be a rose, nature would lose her springtime beauty. Thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe. Thank you and God bless you.